I'm here at the 2010 U.S. Conference of AIDS in Orlando, Florida, and it is my distinct honor to be able to talk with the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services, Kathleen Sebelius. Uh, Secret Madam Secretary, you just gave an excellent uh, presentation to over 2,000 leaders from across the United States in the HIV AIDS world. Would you mind sharing with our AIDS.gov audience a few of the important messages that you provided in that talk? Well, first, I'm thrilled that Ron Baldessari, one of the nation's leading experts on HIV AIDS, is now part of our leadership team at Health and Human Services, and I think he will do a great job keeping his focus. We have a first ever national strategy, which ideally will put resources where we know the risk is the highest. We'll direct our attention and our strategies toward communities where, unfortunately, infection rates continue to increase, and that will be an important piece of this puzzle. We also know that the passage of the Affordable Care Act and making sure that it is allowed to go into effect eventually uh, is a life-saving change for uh, patients with HIV AIDS. For the first time ever in the United States, Americans will have access to uh, affordable health insurance without regard to health status. Insurance companies will no longer be able to pick and choose who gets coverage. Medicaid will be expanded for millions of Americans and Medicare will uh, start to pay all the costs for the uh, life-saving prescription drugs without the so-called donut hole gap that we now see. So there are many pieces of the Affordable Care Act that will go into place in 2014. In the meantime, we have high-risk pools that start. Uh, the Medicare prescription drug gap is starting to be eliminated, and we have preventive care without co-pays or um, co-insurance that will be a part of this puzzle. So uh, the website has a full description of the features of the Affordable Care Act and we'd urge people to take a look at them. We also have healthcare.gov which explains what's available now but what's going to be in place over time. But on behalf of this administration, the President is very committed to not accepting the status quo where we have 50,000 new infections a year of focusing government resources, but also calling on our partners in the private sector to step up, uh, have a renewed sense of urgency, and really go after this disease. Thank you, Madam Secretary. We uh, really appreciate your support and leadership. And this is Dr. Ron Valdeseri signing off for AIDS.gov.